This soup is all green. In fact, it's so green. This soup right here promises a pack of great flavor, a boost of nutrition, warmth we all want in soup, and it is inspired by Ghana, Ebunu Ebunu. Made under 30 minutes. Friends, let me show you how. I've combined some cured lamb for flavor, some crabs, one salted tilapia, and now throwing on some powdered anise seed. You need one onion split into two, two Roma tomatoes, one green bell pepper without the seeds, also split into two, add a little bit of ginger, some garlic, and then some green peas. Green peas are sweet. This soup is super savory, so what an incredible balance. Don't forget your chilies and your momone. Yes. Now, everything pretty much is in this pot. We are going to just add a little bit of water. Cover the pot and cook for only 10 minutes or until all your fresh vegetables and aromatics are tender enough. Then retrieve all of them and transfer them directly into a blender. So your onion, your ginger, your garlic, the chilies, the bell pepper, which was used as a vessel or a cup to cradle the green peas and also don't forget the tomatoes. Now we're going to add some water, about 250 milliliters of water. We're going to blend until very smooth, friends. And then we're going to strain right into the pot. Now I've chosen to strain today because I want my soup to be pulp free and to be on the light side in terms of consistency, okay, of the soup. But you can choose to leave your pulp in, just keep in mind that your soup will be slightly thicker than usual. Please remember to rinse your blender with a little bit of water and go back and also rinse your strainer with that water. And that's all we have left, pretty much a little bit of pop. Stir, and now we're going to, before we bring this mixture to a boil, we're going to add some smoked fish. And I have washed the smoked fish, split them open, removed some of the bones, but I love the skin because I love the texture of it when it's cooked. Throw the lid on now and bring it to a boil. This recipe requires baby spinach or regular spinach. Back home in Ghana, we would use kuntumri, which is taro root leaf. Now, I am wilting my spinach with some hot water. I'm also trapping the heat from the hot water to facilitate the wilting process and the tenderization of these leaves with the hot water by placing the lid on, okay? And leaving it for about two minutes. Then we go and blend everything including the hot water so that we end up with a nice green spinach juice. Time to combine the spinach juice with the soup base. And after this, we're only going to cook about five more minutes, friends. Pretty much bring it to a boil. And this is a stage where you are free to add more protein and your protein must be already cooked chicken, fish, as I am doing so, I had baked some red snapper. I seasoned it well and baked it. I had it on the side and I thought, why not go in with some of that protein? So our soup is not only green, but also protein rich. Five minutes into the cooking, after adding the spinach juice, we're done and we're serving it over some fufu. You can have the soup by itself. Trust and believe me, almost all the ingredients we used in the soup, including the meats and the fish and all of the protein, served as aromatics. If you know what I mean, bonde aromatic. <laughs> I love it and I hope you are all inspired to try it. Thanks for watching. Thank you, beautiful person, for watching the video all the way to the end. Kindly leave me a comment and subscribe down below and don't forget to share the video as well Also watch more videos It is chop time and here in Anaba's kitchen chop time is always yes friend So pull up a chair. We are all friends and family here